Susie Singh from the TV show Master Chef on Fox. Today I am riding with Hot Sauce, which is the owner, Rich Hello. Levy. Hi. Hi. We've been collaborating for the last almost uh, month, and it's been phenomenal. Um, so I got started with the truck through Rich Levy, who's the owner of Hot Sausage. Um, I've been talking about food trucks on Master Chef uh, during the entire season, and the reason why I talk about food trucks is because you bring an elevated version to street food, and that to me is like my greatest passion, is to give you something that you can eat on the street that tastes just really good, super hearty, and for me, have um, some type of cultural reference to it as well. So I actually thought the food truck's the way to go. Not only that, but it's kind of cool as well. <laughs> so it's kind of the in thing right now, and so I'm really into food trucks. I love it. So I wanted to create something that was not intimidating to the Chicago people, so I came up with samosas, which is a very typical Indian thing, but I add a little American twist to it. So I have the Nutella samosa with a pumpkin spice dipping sauce. We also have a butter chicken samosa, so I'm really seeping into the Punjabi heritage. Um, we've got a vegan gluten-free samosa, which is simply a chane samosa, and that's to celebrate Diwali. It's something that I always eat on Diwali within a jar side. Uh, we have the original samosa, which is the vegetarian samosa with the potatoes, aloo, chickpeas, I'm sorry, aloo, uh, sweet peas, uh, cilantro, garam masala, we make our own garam masala rub. Um, and then last but not least, the barbecue beef rub. Uh, it's uh, very sacrilegious, <laughs> I would say, to have beef and a samosa together, but it's my version of kima. So with uh, South Asian culture uh, because there's nothing like that right now on the streets of Chicago. If we can add more to it, um, I would love to do coffee rolls, chicken and rice, really do desi style food uh, with an elevated twist. That's my ultimate.